Thanks. Well, your cell phone can make your life easier in so many ways, but it can also really make a difference in an emergency. Yes, Dan Thompson joins us now with more. We're not talking about the latest and the greatest this morning. We're actually talking about what we can all do to save ourselves if we're ever in a tight spot. That's right. That's right. And it seems so obvious, you know, you got your cell phone, so of course you would use it in an emergency, but there's some really good tips out there that we can learn on how to either use it better uh, or not use it at all and help other people out when we can talk about that here in just a moment. Okay, the first thing you suggest is called ICE. And yes. I keep forgetting to do this, but this is important. Yeah, so ICE, it stands for In Case of Emergency. And this came out several years back. It was originally an initiative in London and it made its way over here. Uh, and basically what you do is the contact you make in your phone, uh, you can just do it ICE or In Case of Emergency and then put in an emergency phone number. Uh, the idea there is, is if someone found you and you needed emergency help, uh, other than, you know, calling 911, mm -hmm. they could call that ICE number and then help, you know, one of your family members or whatever also come to the scene and help. Uh, it's also nice if you lose your phone, it's an easy contact. People can thumb through your right. contacts and say, oh, here's one I can call. Like uh, another example of that is just to label it mom or dad right. so that people can easily know your relatives to call. I'll have to say, I like the ICE idea because I call my dad Papu. That's what my kids call it. <laughs> and that's how he's listed in my phone. Yeah, yeah. And my husband has a nickname for me that he's got in his phone. So, you know, mom and dad aren't in there. It wouldn't be so immediately ICE obvious. Is really a good idea. Sure, sure. And this is for other people to help find if they get a hold of your phone. Yes. That's exactly right. Okay. That's exactly right. And there, there's one little caveat to remember though is if you have a key lock on your phone, obviously all this goes out the window because nobody's going to be able to get oh, in your phone. Oh, if you have a lock. password to get that's in. That's right. That's okay. right. Okay, let's talk about the creating contact groups um, that help send out bulk text messages. Yeah, that's right. So if you ever are in a situation where you need to send out bulk text, and this can be anything from, hey, you know, our baby was just born to um, you know, our house caught on fire and I need some help. So, I mean, this can run the full gamut of things. Um, what you can do, some phones will allow you to create groups of contacts. So you just select that contact and send a text mm. and it will go out to all those people on that list. Uh, it's a very nice functionality uh, and it allows you to, you know, just send the message out quicker so you don't have to send the same one out like five or ten times. Uh, it makes it nice for, makes it nice and efficient, I should say. Yeah, because right. yeah, that can be kind of a pain, especially if you're in a panic situation. You yeah. don't want to thumb through all your, your fingers contacts. just That's don't right. work when That's you're right. scared or worried or hurt. So create contacts also for emergency numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great idea. Is uh, you know obviously all phones have an emergency dial thing that you can do. So even even like smartphones like these, which this by the way is the new incredible 4G. It's an awesome phone. Uh, but when you go to the lock pad, there's an emergency call, so you can dial 911 even if the phone is locked. Um, but outside of life threatening emergencies, you could put things in there like the gas company or the water company or the electric company, um, just so quick access. So um, say, you know, you're running around outside and you realize that there's a water main broken, you've got an easy, easy way to get a hold of the water company so they can come quicker. Uh, obviously, those kind of situations require, you know, pretty quick attention, but it's not life threatening, so you wouldn't call 911. This is interesting. It kind of goes along with not using your cell phone mm -hmm. if a catastrophe happens. You know, I think back to 9-11 and how a lot of people couldn't get a hold of their family members because the lines were all tied up. That's right, that's right. And 9-11 seems to be the, the thing that we all go back to as, as a, a, you know, obviously a very catastrophic event um, and what happened there was is uh, cell phone companies don't build their networks so that every single person can call at the exact same time they call it oversubscribing their network um, the idea is they work off of averages so at five o'clock today there will be we'll just say 200 people using it so that's what they plan for uh, so in an emergency in a disaster scenario um, only so many people are going to be able to make a phone call at the same time now with 911 this was compounded because several cell towers were destroyed if my memory serves me correctly, there was a main telephone hub in the bottom of one of those buildings that also got destroyed. So really compounded the situation. So in a disaster, if you do not need immediate medical attention, the idea is don't use your phone yet. Uh, wait till later on that day till things have kind of chilled out a bit and then call your family. Let those who really have a medical emergency use the lines up. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is if you do have to make a call, make it as quick as possible so you can free those airwaves up. Uh, also, don't stream video or use heavy mm. data, things like that. Let people who actually need to make emergency calls do that. Uh, and then later on that day, call your family, because certainly that's important. Your family wants to know that you're safe, um, but I don't think that it would be a hard argument to say these people that need medical attention, they should get priority. Well, that might be the moment where you t just send a text and say, Mom, I'm alive. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Absolutely. It's an easy, quick way that you can say, hey, I'm okay. I'll call you later. Right. Dan, great advice yeah. this morning. Thanks Thank you so much for being with us. Well, still ahead this morning, we're in the kitchen with Barbara Tenney. She's
She's making scones today in yes. honor of the Olympics. Yum, but first we're back with a look at those local headlines. You're watching Mornings with Fox 43.